Have you ever been chatting with a guy on a dating app and things seem to be going pretty well? I mean, you have good banter with each other and generally speaking, the chemistry is feeling pretty good. And then out of nowhere, he asks you this really weird question that kind of throws you off. Can you send me more pics? And then you think to yourself, are you serious, dude? What the f you start thinking to yourself, you have plenty of pictures on this dating app. What does this guy really want? I mean, you have two selfie pictures, you have two full body pictures, you have one extra flirty picture, and one picture of you doing an activity. I mean, you have all those pictures out there to the world, but you're thinking to yourself, why does this guy want more pictures? You've shown him already your entire life in a nutshell. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to handle this situation and what to do moving forward. Keep watching. Hey there, Adam Ladolce from lovestrategies.com where I help successful single women get out there and attract long lasting love and do it with a proven strategy. And if you've ever experienced this weird phenomenon of guys asking you for more pics on your online dating profile, Give this video a like and leave a comment with your experience right there below. Now I've had this question come up a few times in my Love Accelerator Mastermind program and I thought I'd just create a video about it. Because when a guy asks you for more pics on your online dating profile, do not send him any more pics. There are only two real reasons why a complete stranger from the interwebs would ask you for more pics from your online dating profile. Number one is it's ultimately a scam. At some point, this person is going to ask you for money. Or reason number two, and this is my hypothesis, is that they're trying to ultimately get you to send naked pictures of yourself. Regardless of which scenario it is, don't send him more pics. Ultimately, what they're trying to do is get you to say a small yes, such as sending a few more pics, and then once you are compliant with that, they're going to slowly start asking for more and more things. This is how scammers or sketchballs work. They get you to feel comfortable with them, they get you to trust them, they get you invested in the conversation, the relationship, and then BAM! they take all your money and leave you broke. Sadly, I've heard of this happening a number of different times. When our clients are interviewed to be in our mastermind coaching program, we've heard stories of women losing anywhere from 20 to 50 to $100,000 from scams of online dating. So if at any point while you're online dating, if you feel at all uncomfortable and your intuition is screaming at you saying that there's something off there, there's probably something off. And more importantly, when you are meeting guys online, until you see that person in the flesh and blood standing across from you, do not allow yourself to get emotionally invested in that person. Use online dating as simply a tool to meet people offline, and that's it. So I wanna hear from you in the comments below. Have you ever experienced this weird phenomenon, and how did it work out? And if you'd like to learn more about my Love Accelerator Mastermind program, we'll leave a link right there in the comments below. This is where I teach you the seven little love steps to get out there and attract long-lasting love. And as always, if you want more resources just like this, head on over to lovestrategies.com where we have a ton of videos, articles, and comments content that will help you through every single stage of finding love, attracting men, and building your confidence while you're getting out there and meeting new people. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.